Hello, welcome to a Camera Nostalgia Club video. This channel focuses on old cameras from the 2000s. I will be exploring different types of genre of film and stuff in the future, but right now my main keen interest is the old Digicams. I'm aware that they've risen in popularity quite a lot. I picked one up about two years ago and I haven't been able to get enough of them and I can't stop using them and buying new ones, so I might have a problem or an addiction, but let's be honest, it's not a bad one to have. Today's video is going to be about the Sony Cybershot DSC-H3 from 2007. It's my go-to camera at the moment and it's the one that I want to have in my bag all summer. I'll explain why that is and what you can expect to see from the camera. I'll show you some photos I've been taking. But that's not the main reason why I made this video. I do a lot of reviews on cameras on the channel and I use the cameras a lot and I take a lot of photographs. And recently I've been more inspired to take my photography photographer journey more seriously and try and put work out there properly really. I want to upload and have a sense of fulfillment within myself. So previously I didn't even have my personal Instagram page um, public. I just sort of kept it private and uploaded all of my photos to the Camera Nostalgia Club. I just felt a sense of unfulfillment with my own personal photography. So one of the things I've done to go towards this goal is I've opened my Instagram page. I had it on private for a long time. I just because I was obviously focused on the Camera Nostalgia Club and taking pictures for that concept and that project. It's been a two year thing now and it's grown absolutely more than I could ever imagine. So in the future, I'm just going to be trying an array of projects, seeing where my photography takes me. It would be nice to actually put some work out there in tangible form, you know, like put out some prints, maybe make a zine, because obviously people do like the photos I take because I get lovely comments and people press the like button. But I have never really put my face to anything other than a YouTube channel. So I'd like to take this moment as well to thank everyone that has joined the club. If you could drop a sub, it would mean the world to me because this is what I would like to do, just travel around, taking pictures, exploring places and showing you guys what these old cameras can do and what they're capable of. Now, if you are interested in picking this camera up for yourself, I'm going to go over some specs. It is an interesting camera. It's actually quite basic. I said previously in the video that I need something with a little bit more action going on, you know, in terms of settings and options in the menus. It's fairly basic, but up, up until this point of my camera and photography journey, I have enjoyed just shooting on automatic mode. And then I do sometimes do a little bit of editing in Lightroom with my presets and stuff. But I've, I am feeling the urge to break out of my boundary and explore 
new things. So the camera is an 8.1 megapixel with a 1 over 2.5 inch CCD sensor. Obviously a big reason why a lot of people are going back to these old cameras is for that CCD sensor and it really does give you that nostalgic look and feeling in the photos, especially if you're going to take it to a party or like a nighttime sort of vibe and use the flash. I feel like I'm right back in the 2000s when I see those images. It's got the classic Carl Zeiss lens, another big factor, I've said it before, love a Carl Zeiss lens, can't go wrong with it. One of its downfalls is it has a plastic body. Some people want the luxury feel. And strangely, it does feel, because on the front around the lens, it's got chrome. And I just, I really like the look and shape of this camera. Interestingly, when it was released, it was labelled as a toy-looking camera. Maybe back in that, uh, in them days it did, I'm not sure. But I think it's got a... I don't know, like a classic look to it, a classic feel. Maybe that's just my opinion. It does come with a few different modes, obviously automatic, program auto, manual modes where you can change all of the settings that are available and a variety of different scene modes. And as many or really all of the old Sony Cybershots, it uses a memory stick Pro Duo. In terms of the video, it films in 180 HD. I haven't really tested the video too much because... I've bought this mainly for taking photos. I probably will use the video mode a little bit more. Well, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Today it was a little bit of a random one, but like I said in a previous video, I want to upload a lot more. And I've had a couple of comments from people saying that they've actually watched, they've binged watched my videos, which makes me feel so proud and makes me want to put more videos out there. So obviously, any type of content I can make with the old cameras, I will make it. I've got loads of cameras indoors, obviously. I sell them on the website. If you are interested in buying one, the website is the cameranostalgiaclub.com. I will have everything that I use in my videos linked below. And if you do enjoy the content, please drop a sub and keep your eye out for the next one. Because as I said, I want to be uploading a lot more this year. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.